Good afternoon, everybody. It's, uh, it's finally that week and uh, the biggest week of the year. So we're excited to play and, and uh, know that uh, it's going to be a tremendously hard-fought game as it is every year. So uh, we've been preparing for the last week and a half, and thankfully we got a couple more days to get ready for this game. So uh, I guess we'll take it from there. Taken on um, many narratives this year, um, one being injuries, as you know. Uh, coming into Saturday's contest against Navy, is there anything you are unsure about as as you make your way down to Philly? In, in terms of injuries, are you asking? In, in general. Um, yeah, I mean, there's obviously uh, as you go through the season, it's a it's a physical game, and we got some guys banged up, and hopefully. Uh, over the next few days, we're going to get the majority of those guys healthy. Uh, there's there's going to be some lingering stuff and a couple guys that we probably won't have for the game. But, um, you know, that's that happens with every team. So we, we, uh, we feel good about where we're at in terms of overall health. Just, um, you know, we don't have multiple starters out, but, but there's a few guys. Uh, and, and, and then in terms of our preparation, um, as I said, I'm glad we got a few more days. It's, uh, it's a hard game to prepare for. Um, they know us very well. And, and so to counter that, to, to have some answers for the things that they do offensively and defensively, I'm glad we got a little extra preparation time. So, um, you know, we're not ready to play the game yet today. But hopefully by Saturday we'll uh, we'll have a game plan and guys ready to execute and 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 be able to play well and that's the bottom line is the team that executes the best is going to win a game. And as you just mentioned, um, both teams know each other very well. Uh, the two teams are almost mirror images of each other. However, since uh, Brian Newberry took over as defensive coordinator for the midshipmen. Uh, the Army offense has managed, I believe, just maybe one touchdown per game over the last three years. Uh, my question is this. Um, what must the offense do uh, to have a productive and solid game on Saturday? We've got to block them better and uh, give them credit. Brian's an, an outstanding coach. He's done a great job with their scheme. But, you know, their, their players are the ones that have to play. And they execute, and they do a really good job. They've done a great job this year against the run, uh, one of the top teams in the country. And, uh, and so – we're going to have to block them and keep them blocked. And that's the bottom line. That's the, that's the name of this game. There aren't any offenses where you, you, you don't have to block anybody. And uh, obviously the option plays give option teams an opportunity to, to read different defenders and not have to block them. Uh, but people are doing that in college football with RPOs and those kinds of things and doing it different ways. Uh, the guys that we have to block in order to, for the plays we're running to go. We got to do a good job doing that. And that's, that's how you move the football and that's how you ultimately get the ball in scoring position and get the ball in the end zone. Go ahead, Rich. Jeff, Jeff Rich DeMarco, Army, Army Radio. Radio. What's, What's your, your favorite, favorite part, part of Army Navy week? Hmm. Um, my favorite part's the game. I mean, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on in the periphery. I don't have a whole lot of, um, involvement in any of that stuff. I just, I just like the game. The game is, it's, it's an intense, incredible contest um, from the moment that the competitors arrive at the stadium. There's, there's, a, there's an electricity there that is unrivaled. It is truly awesome. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to just being out there and having a chance to compete. And when you think about this game, and you guys know each other so well, I know you had a, a question about it earlier. In your mind, what does the game come down to? Um, the, the basic fundamentals of football, which is who blocks the best uh, and, and gets off of blocks, who tackles the best, and who takes care of the ball. Uh, you know, certainly executing in, in situational football is important. But, but I think those things are important, and they carry over to the, to the kicking game, being able to, 
to be good in the kicking game, and it's a huge part of this this game, and I think in every game. So um, it's it's the it's the boring stuff, the basic fundamentals of just blocking, tackling, taking care of the ball, and and so we we got to try to do that better. They did that better than us a year ago. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Connor, go back to Zoom. Go to Ken McMillan. Hey, Jeff. Ken McMillan from the record. Uh, as you've mentioned already, uh, it, it could really come down to execution, but I'm just wondering, how do you break the offensive logjam in these games? Do you need to have, I don't want to call them surprise plays, but plays out of the ordinary in order to break the game open? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if surprise plays are the ways to do it. Um, I think just having a plan that we feel really good about and being able to execute that plan. That, that's, the, that's the key in these games. Um, but they are, they are just, they always seem to be a, a fist fight in a phone booth. And if you look at our games against them, it's just, just the hard fought battles and, and the other academy games. The play in Air Force and when Navy plays Air Force, that was a really close game this year. They're, they are hard games to win and uh, and it's not it's not trick plays and it's not things out of the ordinary that uh, that you win the game on. I think it's doing the things you do best and uh, so hopefully what we do on Saturday will be good enough and, and if we do as well as we can, we'll at least give ourselves a chance. Been playing very well of late. Is there anything specific about Navy's offense that you need to key on this week? Well, Navy, much like us, um, is a you know they, their roots are in the option, and so to defend the option, to defend all the play action passes that go along with it, um, is is a challenge, and they they are multiple in terms of their formations and do a really good job executing, but, but also being able to play blocks at the line of scrimmage and, and uh, the, the hard power run game plays that they run, whether it's the zone dive or the belly or uh, whatever it may be, uh, being able to defend those plays and, and shed blocks at the line of scrimmage to try to bottle those up. So um, they're, they're, as you know, I know a lot of those coaches there, they're really good coaches. And they do a really good job coaching their team. And so uh, we've got to do, do a good job coaching our team and have them positioned where they need to be. And then hopefully our guys will, will execute and beat blocks and be able to get tacklers to or get ball carriers to the ground as tacklers. It was a year ago, but do you feel as though you were just that close to turning that game into a win last year? Oh, uh, I mean, there were opportunities. But they made, they made the plays that they needed to make to beat us. And that's the bottom line. We didn't make the plays that we needed to make to win the game. And they did. And so it was a close game. But a lot of the games that we've played against them have been really close. So I, th I think it's just a, that that's kind of the nature of this, of this Army-Navy game that it's going to be a really tough, hard-fought game, and the team that makes just maybe even a play or two more is, is going to win the football game. So uh, that was them last year. They, they made more plays, and hopefully this year we'll find a way to make more plays. Uh, last thing, Jeff. Um, uh, I know you still have Navy this week, but what are your thoughts about not being able to play beyond this week? Oh, uh, there's, there's nothing we're thinking about other than this game. This is the most important game in the world to us. So it's, it's our only focus. And uh, you know, playing in the postseason is fun. It's a great reward for the, for the players. And, and uh, it's a great source of pride when we've been able to do that. And, uh, and I'm disappointed we, we didn't win enough games this year to do it. But that's, that's our fault. And uh, so uh, beyond that, beyond anything else, there's, uh, there's nothing more important to us. As, as a program or in a season than the Army Navy game. So this is uh, this is a this is a big, big football game for us and the last game our seniors will play and so uh, 
I hope we can play really well and, and give ourselves a chance to win, like I'd said. Thanks, Trey. Thank you. Sal's all up. Uh, hey, Coach, how are you? Good, good Sal, Sal, thank you. Um, can you talk, you talked a little bit about just now, but can you talk about the senior class and what it would mean for them? I think our our seniors are are uh, are excited about this game and 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 should be, um, you know they 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 uh, they lost as freshmen, won as sophomores, lost again last year as juniors, and I know they'd like to to even the even the score, uh, and and to be able to go, you know, the rest of their life, having beaten Navy would be a big win for them, and so. It, it, it means a lot to them, and it means a lot to the rest of us to be able to send them out with a victory. But, you know, the thing is, in this game, both teams are fighting just tooth and nail as hard as they can to do the same thing for, for their teams. So, so it makes it such a great, a great game. There is there's never a lack of, of, uh, of intensity and, uh, and focus and intent to, to win on every single play. And that that that's that exists on every play from the start to the finish. So uh, our guys will be fighting hard, our seniors will be playing hard, but so will everybody else. What about Ken Kreitzer? Oh, good afternoon, Coach uh, Ken Kreitzer, Cam Vets Media. Uh, last week uh, we met uh, John Marshall, the leading tackler on the Navy team, eighty-eight tackles, eighteen. Half tackles for loss. Uh, plays a striker position. What what imp what's the impact that he provides uh, to the Navy defense and and that from that striker position? He makes a lot of plays, a lot of tackles for loss, um, pass rush, run game. Uh, he's a very effective player, really good player. Um, and Coach Newberry puts him in position to make those plays to his credit. And uh, and and Marshall. Marshall does make make a lot of plays. He he gives a lot of people fits. He gave us fits a year ago, and he's given people fits his entire career. So um, he he does a really nice job. Hey, just so we also met uh, their big right tackle, Kip Franklin, six one three zero six. Reminds me a little bit of Brett Toth. Uh, what is what is the impact that a big right tackle has for for Navy for their offense? Uh, I I think those guys work really well together as a unit. And Kip's a good player. He's played a lot of football for them. Um, having guys up front, uh, up front, that can move bodies and and pry open gaps and create seams for the running back. If you're running running football team, you better have that. So um, he's a good player, and I, I I know he's meant a lot to their football team. And just uh, the quarterback situation for Navy. Ty Levitai obviously played last year. He's had injury problems. Xavier Arline's been seeing action. Uh, are you preparing for both, or do you expect one or the other to play? Well, Lava Tai is out, as I understand it. Um, and I may be I may be wrong, but I, I, I think he had a significant knee injury. So, um, we're, we're, you know, he may play in the game. I don't know. But we're expecting to see our line and, and, uh, and perhaps Masai Maynard. So, you know, we're, we're, we're preparing for those guys and, you know, just preparing for them schematically. And uh, and there's certain things they do with with uh, certain guys, and and we're probably that way a little bit too. But uh, but just overall for our guys to be prepared for the game, and we've got to we've got to have our guys ready for what they've done, what we've seen, and and uh, and and frankly making up some stuff that they might be able to do. And uh, so just trying to be prepared for all of it. And last quick question uh, to. Players that have had injuries recently, John Marshall and Kate Ballard uh, had an injury in the, in the Massachusetts game. Do you expect that uh, they may be available? Oh, they're both practicing and and, uh, and preparing to play. So pleased that those guys are back. Yeah, good. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Ken. Thanks, everyone. Be Navy.